Kevin Costner, good morning. Welcome. Thanks for being here. This was your first TV series. And I, I read that you thought initially it would just be one season. But right. It's so successful, it's now in its second. Yeah, it's like I was raised in like a cave or something. And it was, <laughs> you know, keep going or something like that. But yeah. Why was it important for now? you to cover the struggles of ranchers in the modern West? I didn't think of it in that way. I mean, I, I, I try to put the audience on my shoulder the first time I read the script because you, you go to the TV, you go to the movies for something, you know, and the lights go out and you want to just be transported. And so when I read a script, all of a sudden I feel myself being transported and suddenly we're in the Bitterroot Valley, the same valley that, that Lewis and Clark went down. And, and people are reminded once again when they watch that these places still exist. I, you know, we can, we can get caught up in what we do, but, you know, uh, an incredible amount of history went down out there. And I don't think we ever tire of seeing running rivers and valleys and, and mountains. And if you can set a drama against all that, uh, it's fun. If you can set a girl boy movie against minor league baseball in Bull Durham, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear about actors doing westerns, you often hear a backstory, usually a humorous backstory, about how they, they had to learn how to ride. Wasn't a problem for you, though. You already rode. Did you have to learn anything new? Yeah. No, well, there's a lot. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay riding. I work around with people who are really good with horses, but it's something I've wanted, it's something I've done since I was little wanted to do uh and uh i think everybody and i think that's one of the joys when you go to the movies who wouldn't want to run with the buffalo mm -hmm. and i just don't like necessarily giving that up to a stuntman I, I want to do as much as i can although you know i i, I have stuntmen were you able to do most of it I, I yeah and that that movie i did pretty you know most of it yeah exactly that's that's <laughs> yeah in certain instances you just have to you know it's the fun of doing movies. Who doesn't want to get to kiss the girl, save the day, you know, climb the building and, you know, turn off the bomb? We're happy to say that Luke Grimes and Kelsey Asbell are here in the studio. Welcome, hey, you superstars. Hey, what's up? Yeah, welcome. Because I want to know what this ride is like for you because it started as a sleeper hit and now it is ginormous. Start us off, Kelsey, about how you're processing it and you too, Luke. Oh, what this means to you. I don't think we have processed it, really. Yeah. It's, it's wild. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, this has been a life-changing job and experience, I think. Uh, but, you know, we both feel really lucky to be a part of it and, and really love making it. So. Does well, it feel different making it after it blows up, right? Because yeah. you do season one, it gets renewed, season two, and then <laughs> it's popular, it gets renewed, and then it really takes off during the pandemic. And now you got 14 million views for the trailer. <laughs> <Yeah>. Trailer. <laughs> That's In like of. half a day, right? <laughs> I mean, does that change the feeling of going and acting and doing the job? I guess it just changes the airport experience on the way there. <laughs> yes. Everything else kind of feels that's, the same to, uh, that's to me. I don't know, I don't yeah, speak yeah. for you, but. The haircuts help, so yeah. a little bit. <laughs> that is funny, the airport experience. But you know, at the end of season four, Luke, you, you went away for self-reflection, and he came back, Kelsey, and he says, I see the end of us. Mm. Mm. It was, that was heavy. That was very heavy. Yeah. And you are known as a very emotional character. You are not a crybaby cry mm. man. Thank you. But you, <laughs> but you do tend to be a little emotional in, in your yeah, scenes. Sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's sort of part of where he's at, right? He's always yeah. kind of between this rock and a hard place. and Between and, his dad and exactly. his wife. That's sort of his, his storyline, his arc. What decisions are you going to make? And I can't wait to find out either. Yeah, because but both of you started, yeah. you, sorry, you started out, both of you, as like Romeo and Juliet. And I know people have said that, but that makes me nervous because yeah. Romeo and Juliet has a really, really sad and tragic ending. I hope I'm not giving anything away. To, <laughs> or trying to do spoiler. Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, and you guys are tested almost all from the, the time. jump. Yeah. 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 I mean, well, now we're in a survival movie. <laughs> right. It's really, um, yeah, it's against all odds, but. I feel like this season, it really, it kind of redefines our, our relationship to the family and, and our part and its legacy. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Luke, the, there are kind of two kinds of people in Hollywood, right? There are people who like watching their own stuff, right? Uh, and there are people who've never seen themselves, for whatever reason, they don't do it. You're of the I don't watch myself variety. Is that true and why? It's less about not watching myself. It's more about I really want to enjoy this whole series one day when I'm not doing it anymore. And so I feel like if I watch it now, it's just gonna oh. get me in my head. I'm gonna be judging what I'm doing. I'm not gonna be able to enjoy the story. So I feel like once, once I'm totally done with this and I can put it away years later, I'll sit down and, and really be able to enjoy it. Is that your approach to all things that you're in? 
No, I mean, sometimes I have to watch things at premieres. So I've, I've seen enough. I've seen enough to know what I do. So I'm, I'm good. <laughs> You're okay. like, I'm good. <laughs> Interesting. And so, Kelsey, what, what I think is so great about your character is that you grew up on an Indian reservation. That's a lot of the conflict between the Duttons and the Indian reservation. And you say that these are important stories to tell. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think the Western genre, you know, we're really used to the good, the bad, and yes. of course, no one's ugly on Yellowstone. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that... Um, I, I offer Exhibit A. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> no exactly. Including, including my <laughs> At least my husband, husband looks yeah. good, you know? Yes, yes, yeah. But no, I think what Taylor Sheridan does so beautifully is he puts two groups of people in conversation with each other and, and uses the entertainment medium to really talk about issues, especially Native issues, that, that matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an important... You know, one of the things I love about the show, and I'm an, I've watched every episode yes. uh, multiple times, oh, I've wow. watched the spinoff, um, <laughs> it's that it doesn't shy away from the important issues. I think it would be easy, as you say, to, to sort of present good Shit. versus evil or good and bad, but it does. There, it shows that there are shades. Even when people do horrible things on the show, you kind of understand it. Yeah. Luke's like, yeah, here, it's good. I'm going to watch it one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Exactly. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I think that's kind of the beauty of it, right? There's no, there's no good guy. There's no bad guy. There's no villain. And I think that's just really good storytelling. And at any point, someone can, can, can do something wrong and, and also be righteous. And you're trying to figure out, like, who does deserve this? And, yes. and what's going on here? And yeah, I, you, I do find myself going back and forth. But you like it so much, you've moved to Montana, Mr. Grimes. I have, yeah. Wow. It's hard to spend that much time there and not fall in love with it. I mean, as she knows. I mean, we're there, you know, four or five months out of the year, and I just, then going back to L.A. felt very strange and, wow. and had to move up there. So. All right. I like the good, the bad, and nobody's ugly. As a <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Of the set. Uh, Luke Grimes, uh, Kelsey Asbill. very true. Very true. Thank yeah. you both very much.